Ever wondered what the signs of a bad AC condenser in your car are? Well, you're about to find out. The AC condenser plays a crucial role in your car's air conditioning system. It cools down the refrigerant that helps keep your car's interior at a comfortable temperature. But like any other part of a vehicle, it can falter, and when it does, it gives off certain telltale signs. In today's discussion, we'll delve into the world of AC condensers, specifically focusing on the five signs that indicate a bad condenser. Inadequate cooling, strange noises, leaks, restricted airflow, and a burning smell. Recognizing these signs early can save you from discomfort during a hot summer drive and might also save you from expensive repairs down the line. So buckle up because knowledge is power and today, we're powering up your understanding of AC condensers. Stay tuned as we dive into the first sign of a bad AC condenser in your car. The first and most common sign of a bad AC condenser is inadequate cooling. Now let's dive into why this happens. The AC condenser in your car plays a key role in cooling the interior. It's a bit like a magical box that transforms high-pressure, high-temperature refrigerant gas into a cooler liquid state. This process is what provides that refreshing, cool air on a hot day. When your AC condenser is working properly, it efficiently dissipates heat and delivers that much-needed cool breeze. But when it starts to go bad, it can't do its job as effectively. That means the refrigerant gas isn't cooled down as much as it should be. As a result, the air blowing out of your vents isn't as cold. So. What might cause this inadequate cooling? Well, a few things can go wrong. The condenser could be blocked or damaged, preventing the refrigerant from being cooled properly, or the fan that helps cool the refrigerant could be malfunctioning. Even a small leak in the system can lead to reduced cooling capacity. Let's talk about implications. First off, you'll probably be less comfortable in your car, especially on those hot summer days. But beyond that, a malfunctioning AC condenser can put more strain on your car's engine as it tries to compensate for the lack of cool air. This could lead to more serious mechanical issues down the line. Moreover, if the issue lies with a leak, you could potentially be losing refrigerant which is harmful to the environment. And if you're constantly cranking up the AC in an attempt to get cooler air, you're likely using more fuel which isn't great for your wallet or the planet. In short, inadequate cooling is more than just a discomfort. It's a sign that something's not right with your AC condenser, and it's worth getting it checked out. So, if you're not feeling that cool breeze like you used to, it might be time to check your AC condenser. The second sign to look out for is strange noises coming from your AC. The symphony of sounds your car makes is a language all its own, and when that language includes unusual noises from your air conditioning system, it's time to pay attention. A healthy AC condenser operates quietly, but a failing one might have you asking, who invited the rock band? If you're hearing a rattling or banging sound, it could indicate loose or broken parts within the condenser. This is not a jam session you want to hear, folks. And then there's the hissing. Picture a disgruntled cat, but under your hood. This noise is often a sign that refrigerant is leaking from the system, escaping under high pressure. It's an unwelcome guest at this imaginary concert and a sure sign that your AC condenser needs attention. Now, if you're hearing a buzzing noise, it could signal an electrical issue. Imagine the annoying buzz of an old fluorescent light bulb. It's just as irritating when it's coming from your car's AC system, and it's potentially a sign of a more serious problem. But how do you differentiate these noises from the other sounds your car makes? Well, the key is to listen for these sounds when the AC system is running. Turn off the radio, ask the kids to quiet down, and really listen. You'll find these noises are most noticeable when the car is idling or when the AC system is first turned on. It's also important to remember that while these noises are common symptoms of a bad AC condenser, they can also indicate other issues. It's like our rock band analogy. Just because the drummer is offbeat doesn't necessarily mean he's the only problem. There could be other issues with the band, just like there could be other issues with your car. Remember, your car shouldn't sound like a rock concert when you're just trying to cool down. If your vehicle's AC system is making strange noises, it's time for a professional to take a look and conduct the necessary repairs. Don't ignore the sounds, they're your car's way of telling you something is wrong. The third sign of a bad AC condenser is leaks. Now, it's important to understand the role of the AC condenser in your car's air conditioning system. It acts as a kind of middleman in the refrigerant's journey. After the refrigerant absorbs heat from your car's interior, it goes to the condenser. Here, the refrigerant is cooled down and transformed from a high-pressure gas into a high-pressure liquid. This cooled liquid is then sent back into your car ready to absorb more heat and keep you comfortable. But what happens when there's a leak in this crucial component? Well, the refrigerant can escape, 
and the efficiency of your AC system takes a nosedive. You might notice that your car isn't cooling as it should, or you might see physical signs of a leak. These can be pools of liquid under your car, or a greasy film on the AC condenser itself. Now this isn't just water from your car's exhaust or a rainy day. Refrigerant is a special fluid, and it doesn't evaporate like water. So if you're seeing unexplained puddles under your car, it's time to take a closer look. And here's the thing, it's not just about staying cool on a hot day. A leaky AC condenser can lead to more serious car problems. For one, the refrigerant isn't something you want leaking into the environment. It's harmful to the ozone layer. Plus, without enough refrigerant, your AC system will have to work harder. This puts strain on other components and can lead to costly repairs down the road. So if you suspect a leak, don't ignore it. Get it checked out as soon as possible. It's better to fix a small problem now than to wait for it to become a big, expensive one. A leaky AC condenser is a slippery slope to more serious car problems. The fourth sign is restricted airflow. Now this is a sneaky one. Imagine a summer day you turn on the car's air conditioning and instead of a gust of cool relief, you're met with a sluggish trickle. That's what restricted airflow feels like and it's a telltale sign of a problematic AC condenser. So, how does this happen? Well, the AC condenser plays a crucial role in your car's air conditioning system. It's responsible for dissipating heat carried by the refrigerant, but when it's blocked or damaged, it can't perform this job effectively. The result? Restricted airflow. Dirt, debris or even damage to the condenser's fins can cause blockages. You might not notice this at first especially if the blockage is minor. But as the issue worsens the airflow from your vents will gradually decrease. It's like trying to blow air through a straw that's slowly getting pinched. And what if you ignore it? Well, let's just say it's not a good idea. A blocked AC condenser can cause other parts of the system to work harder, leading to further damage. It can also result in your AC system overheating, which is a danger you definitely want to avoid. So remember, if your vents aren't blowing like they used to, your AC condenser might be the culprit. Don't just sweat it out. Get it checked to ensure your car stays cool and your AC system stays healthy. The fifth and final sign of a bad AC condenser is a burning smell. Now this isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill odor, it's a distinct acrid scent that may remind you of something burning and it's not something to be taken lightly. So why would a malfunctioning AC condenser result in such a smell? Well the answer lies in the intricacies of your car's air conditioning system. The AC condenser plays a crucial role in dissipating heat. When the condenser goes bad, it may overheat, leading to components within the system melting or burning. This in turn, produces that telltale burning odor. Recognizing this sign isn't hard, but it does require a bit of vigilance. It's not about a faint whiff of something off, but a persistent strong smell that lingers, especially when you run the AC. It's a smell that makes you think, something's not right here. The urgency of addressing this issue cannot be overstated. Ignoring it can lead to escalating damage not just to the AC condenser but potentially to other parts of the car's cooling system. It's not just about comfort on a hot day, but also about the overall health of your vehicle. So if your car's AC is giving off a burning smell, don't ignore it. Your AC condenser could be calling for help. So there you have it, the five signs of a bad AC condenser in your car. Let's recap quickly. Inadequate cooling is a clear sign something's up, and it's not just about comfort, it's about maintaining optimal conditions for your car's performance. Strange noises? They're your car's way of crying out for help, don't ignore them. Leaks are serious business, they can cause significant damage if left unchecked. Restricted airflow can be a subtle sign but it's just as important as the others. Lastly, a burning smell is a big red flag. It's the smell of potential danger and damage. These signs are not just about keeping cool during the summer months, they're about ensuring the longevity of your car, and more importantly, your safety on the road. Remember, your car's AC is more than just a luxury, it's a crucial component of your vehicle.